full injection in my body. Arif. <laughs> what if can I Hey, this is the first time that I've ever caught my father. <laughs> I should confess he's going. And God knows I'm going to be peeing on myself when they inject me. Guys, I'm already to KFC, please. I am betraying the Nazo meal. Give me what I done Nazo meal on their potential last day on earth. Nahana. Can I tell you the amount of people that messaged me to say, oh my God, Barbara, please, I love you so much. Don't get the vaccine. It's the mark of the beast. It's, oh, wait, we are on a steep, hold on. Oh, snap. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Now I have to balance a vlog and a, woo, and there's a Mercedes Benz behind me. If we got to knock on Let me just act, let me, let me act calm. Let me be calm. There we go. Give my mother give my license. Not why? Because I am a girl who can control her car on it. Steep. Thank you. Work solution, girls. Where, where? How would you eat another meal? How would you eat another meal? Dime line. Hello, may I please come to the window? Okay, no problem. Oh, that's not my order. I think it's the lady. Oh, go pay. Okay. I'm vaccinated you are today, so get to get KFC if I'm gonna die. <laughs> get to KFC. Thank you. Well, the lady was like, okay, weirdo. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Let me fix this lighting. What is happening? Oh my goodness, is that the heavens opening up, my lord? <laughs> Katala, these jokes are so bad. These are bad jokes to be making on a vaccination vlog because I am getting vaccinated. Whether or not there are conspiracies, I am going. Honestly, I went on a sushi date. I've been going on chai latte dates. I've been I've been eating everything. I've literally eaten everything in the past couple of months except KFC. So if I go out tomorrow, my lord, at least I'll be happy because get like the dunk drinks, lit twister, and whatever. Not that I'm gonna go out or anything like that, but if I do, this would probably be a very sad vlog to watch. Um, apologies. <laughs> this is literally going to be the first meal of my day, and it's now three minutes until three o'clock. Why do you ask? Because I will tell you now. I don't want to. I don't want to be vlogging, and then I look crazy because I'm talking to myself on the phone. Do you mind? I don't know why they didn't warn you, my brother. Eh? Baring? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are Are Hey, hey, What if you can't even Hey, I got that bullet. Give me one to get a case. Think I'm busy today. Ha, what's wrong? Me too, That's why me. Shab. You're bad too. Hello, Tio. Thank you. Get on a different level. Think I'm so boy again. Eh? I don't have a phone. I'm just I'm just a girl with a car. Look at banana, you'll see me one day in KFC. <laughs> Lollies it's so funny guys. Literally like this is the first time that I've ever caught my father. I'm literally bumping into my father. This is my dad. Now he's gonna say, What are you doing at KFC? I said, KFC. Okay, let me greet him. Let me greet him. Let me act natural. Should I hoot? Should I hoot? I think he already sees me. Or not. Maybe he's just. Oh my god. <laughs> my dad doesn't know I'm here. Let me hoot. Let me confess my sins. I should have confessed. He's going. He's literally going. Yo. Ah! Ah! Okay. Everything is okay. Everything is alright. Let me just follow him like a stalker. What if my dad? Ooh, and he's really going. Yeah, my father is gone. Okay. Bye, dad. Bye, daddy. Mwah. 
Cheers, babe. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> this is the laugh of a nervous girl who knows she's gonna get beat when she gets home. <laughs> I was trying to vlog while driving here to the gal. <laughs> I missed the entrance. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Um, I was trying to vlog on my way to Gallagher, but then I realized I can't because I have no idea where I'm going um, So yeah, I had to do a little bit of rerouting, but it's okay because Oh my goodness uh, They didn't say we're getting vaccinated in a parking lot I mean, it's not a parking lot technically It's Everything is gonna be okay Ugh, boring Anyway, so like I was saying, I tried to vlog, but there's so much happening at the same time. I feel like this day just keeps on getting wilder and wilder and just more out of hand as the hours go. Hopefully, I don't pee on myself because I have a very, like, childish bladder. Let me just fix the lighting. I'm going to head out pretty soon just to show you what the Discovery um, campsite looks like. I obviously really just, I really need to eat this KFC. Like, I actually need to eat it because I haven't eaten the entire day. I always knew I was going to get vaccinated. Like, it was a no-brainer for me. Like, there's a vaccine nation you're gonna go get it all of these other conspiracies and what what and this is what the vaccination and they're gonna control us and the mark of the beast and all of these crazy things child i serve a living god and at the end of the day and that's period it's not up for discussion for me personally those are my personal beliefs and yeah do you, you understand oh Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Malome. Yo, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. And now he saw me vlog. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Now I have parked where the Malume wants me to park. So yesterday, I think I was in a tutor session. I was tutoring because that's what I do part-time for a living. Uh, not for a living. Obviously, I'm an engineering student full-time at tax, but part-time so that I can make inflow of cash. Um, I do tutoring on the side. And so I was tutoring and then the news came out like, oh, you know, the people are going to be able to vaccinate. Because initially, I was under the impression that we were only going to get to vaccinate in September. Sorry, this lighting is like... I knew that we were going to go get vaccinated on the 1st of September and I was pretty content with that. I had mentally prepared myself to register on the 1st of September. So yesterday when I heard registration is open, I was like, what? So there I am at 11 p.m., you know, registering. Twitter is also doing its thing. And I'm like, yes, guys, we're all doing this thing. We're all doing this thing. Yay. And then my mom calls me and she's like, you better make sure that once you're done, okay, you go on the Discovery app and you figure out when you are going to vaccinate and you better do it ASAP as in yesterday. So I'm like, yo, okay, mama, I hear you. So I registered here at the Gallagher Estates in Midrand. The actual vaccination site in Centurion only has bookings on the 31st of August. So from now until August, it's fully booked. Obviously, I filled out the discovery thing and they were like, okay, ma'am, you can come get vaccinated tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'm like, I'm not getting vaccinated at 9 a.m. I literally, I, like, I didn't have enough time to mentally prepare myself. I need mental marination like i need to marinate in my thoughts before i go and actually like do something it needs to be something that i've properly thought about a whole injection a whole injection in my body oh i really i feel like pain is such an unnecessary thing like pain is not necessary but anyway child plot twist my dad is part of the people who don't want to get vaccinated but my mom is part of the people who are pro vaccination so for those of you who are newly subscribed to my channel hey welcome my name is bex okay i'm just a little girl i'm just i'm just a 21 year old girl you know who loves god loves people and long story short introduction of myself god took me from being an insecure dark skin skinny girl to being a recognizer of the beyonce that lives within me so it's hot <laughs> no not open the window then people are gonna know you're vlogging what's wrong with you barbara God literally took me from being such an insecure people pleaser, concerned about how I move in public will affect people and what they think of me, to now being someone who's completely free of the opinions of men and can even live on YouTube where there are trolls and people are dragging me every day on Twitter and everywhere else and, you know, I'm, I'm still alive, I'm still breathing. Um, but now I've lost my train of thought. Oh, the point of that was I, I live in a divorced household, but I live with my dad predominantly. My dad is also away from home, like... 90% of the time so for the most part I live by myself 
this backstory i'm starting to realize is a little bit unnecessary but it makes sense because okay i've been home alone the whole week so when i left the house my dad wasn't at home my dad also isn't aware that I am part of the group that registered to be vaccinated today because obviously when the vaccination stuff happened, we were not in the same household, same vicinity, and we don't like call each other every night because what is that? What is that? <laughs> After leaving KFC and like that whole flirtation situation with that guy happened and I bumped into my dad, I was literally so scared for my life because my dad's the guy to say, you better turn this car around because I pay for this car. You better turn this car around and get your ass back up in that house. So yeah, luckily he didn't see me or so I think. He probably tracked my car and knows that I'm here now. So hey bro, if I die, I die. I'm gonna die anyway. You know what I mean? Like either the COVID gets you Oh, my dad gets me many things. Even cause, cause could get me, but it won't in Jesus' name because I am a flourish star. I'm half an hour early for my appointment as usual. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna chill here in the car, finish my food, find a bathroom because if I don't find a bathroom, God knows I'm going to be peeing on myself when they inject me. Yeah, I'm excited. Let me know in the comment section. Um. Just let me know something, okay? Let me know something in the comment section. Boost me, boost me there by comments. Thanks. <laughs> oh, and make sure that you like this video. Like, if you're not gonna subscribe, that's cool. Like, I ain't gonna beef with you. I'm just like, if you made it up until this point, like, surely I'm entertaining. Surely you should like this video. If you dislike it, you're sour. And everyone here, look, all the thousand people who watch this video, they're gonna know that you were sour. Don't be sour. Be nice you can even share it to your story god says that you must bless your enemies even harder than you bless your friends do that <laughs> i know this man is not parking behind my car there is so much do you see this open field hey long the last supper <laughs> i'm not laughing this is not funny <laughs> At the moment, Ste and Rhea and I actually don't know who else is there. I think Daniel is there with them, probably offensive too. They're also currently getting vaccinated, so that's pretty excited. We're doing like a mass vaccination. We wanted to get vaccinated together, like do the whole like, ooh, let's have virgin mojitos and then go get vaccinated and have lunch or dinner or something together. Cheers, huh? Oh? But obviously, I'm in Madrid. They are in Hatfield. Hatfield to Madrid slash Santon is like insane. So I don't expect them to do that, but ciao. We're gonna vlog and we're gonna be happy. Oh. Who is the crazy girl looking around like this? Are the people looking at me? Yes. Are they listening to me right now? Yeah. Do I feel crazy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go put the rain light back in the car. It's gonna be a great walk of shame. I agree, but <laughs> I feel like the drama that I'm gonna have to undergo on the inside, just explaining to the person who's administrating the vaccine why I have a ring light, what is going on. I just ugh. I can't I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And it's not a very subtle what can i call it contraption <laughs> it's not a subtle contraption so ish, it is what it is it is what it does an awkward person so i literally started hopping and singing to try and avoid the awkwardness because i was just walking past an entire line of people who were queuing simply because i'm on discovery and i made my booking with them so yeah awkward <laughs> So they gave me a second mask. Um, I, they told me I need to double mask because something about safety. <laughs> there wasn't an actual explanation. But right now, I'm on my way to the second building where they are going to, I think, hello. I, I thought I knew her. She looked so familiar. <laughs> Got my vaccination card on my way to the Shandi. I genuinely was not panicking until now. Don't mind me, just vlogging. Tim Elang. Thank you. 
I'm good. How are you? See, you're doing this. You're doing this. So just to give you a little bit of context about what this lady is going on about, basically, a lot of the vaccination workers that were on site that day were very surprised, um, to say the least, about the interaction that I had with them because they were like, you know, most people just come in here, greet and then do their thing, but you're like so infectious, your energy is so great or whatever. So <laughs> she just came over to greet me and she's like, yo, did I see you've been wilding out the whole time and like people are genuinely like looking at me laughing and like wondering why is this girl so happy what's going on but yeah god is good so cheers <laughs> i'm panicking come on happy place with our dogs ways that i was happy and then the people yeah, 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 yeah. okay ah. i can feel it going in my body <laughs> 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 this is gonna be you for the next month. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna have people coming in here with cameras. Like a, yeah, it's insta, insta, insta. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I finished vaccinating. The lady's so nice. She was so kind to me. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> And literally like it i mean i could feel like there's something happening but i didn't really it wasn't like come here let me vaccinate you and stuff no. so i'm gonna go to the government mm -hmm. yeah? and mm -hmm. i needed to take blood samples yes i guess i'm not gonna bomb on my nest like i'm gonna let's all go one mm chapa or a baby one it's a come on let's go Thank you. So what happens now? You go there for 15 minutes observation. You see, we even observing. Hey, observation, you. like Taking I can me. shake and fall. Yes, making sure that you're okay. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vlogging in the waiting room was so awkward and so difficult, so I decided not to. I did a couple of hand signals anyway, but people were genuinely staring at me and like giggling the whole time because like it was old people and they really thought I was funny, but it made me feel very awkward. So I couldn't really express myself and everything that I was feeling going on in my body. So I just decided to do the Google thing and research <laughs> what's wrong with me. Am I dying? Is everything okay? Um, before I actually open my mouth and say, hey, nurse, come help me. We officially have been vaccinated. It is done. I am so excited. You can't tell because I'm wearing two masks. Don't know why I'm wearing two masks, but I will tell you, I am starting to feel a bit of flu symptoms, but <laughs> we will see, we will see if I make it out alive. My favorite. <laughs> 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 and I got to put it, let me put the phone on the side. So give it a call and then she shot me. Yeah, but you are right, Shem. I should have, I should have taken it. <laughs> yeah, but I'll do it the second time when I come. Yes, thank you. Genuine chats and, and all jokes aside, maybe I need to breathe. Maybe I just need to breathe. Everyone who I was sitting in the waiting room with did not experience any sort of like symptoms or anything like that. So I think like everyone there is like, sorry i'm like losing my train of thought because my mind is in so many different places at the same time um obviously i have a million and one things that i think are going wrong with my body right now but i'm also a very dramatic person as everybody has established so i'm not sure if this is like the drama or this is like what i'm actually going through my nose um it's kind of blocked and is running but from that side like you know when you have a running nose but not this way like that way and you can feel your snot is like going down your throat this way that's what i'm going through but the lady said um the runny nose shandies is like nothing hectic nothing major like all the covid symptoms will probably happen it doesn't happen to everyone but some people are just weaker than others not that i'm weak or anything try me nigga you will see but i think i also need to take a nap just to balance everything going on in my head because right now i'm a little bit all over the place i think i'm just like um <laughs> i need this time to listen to my body i need to listen to my body and just listen to everything that's going on so 
yeah but anyway let me go home to my father oh my goodness i don't know how i'm gonna tell my daddy but child we doing it okay <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this i am alive give this video a like thank you <laughs> hello my dad didn't see my kids see can you imagine man i still have all of my dunked wings except for the little bites that i took out of my dunked wings in the parking lot so yay i i'm a firm believer in you must lie down and enjoy your food your food must be eaten in peace i refuse to eat the dunked wings in the parking lot of a dusty vaccination site not happening um, <laughs> i still have a lot of work to do i have submitted all of my assignments all i have to do is prepare for my tutoring job tomorrow but in terms of like side effects and how i'm feeling genuinely i'm okay like everything seems to be perfectly normal except the fact that i think i have a slight slight um runny nose and it started a little bit when i was in the vaccination center guys so much happened when i was in that vaccination center i should probably explain it on camera now while it's still fresh in my head but long story short like oh man the people were vibes like everyone was vibes and i think people I'm, I'm trying to figure out how you say <laughs> but basically there was this man um that i was like sort of behind walking behind the entire process so every time i'm having a conversation with one of like the people helping us facilitators let's call them facilitators one of the facilitators he always like turning around you know laughing like okay that conversation funny like girl funny i'm like oh, i know i'm funny hello <laughs> and then we go and then when it was time for me to get vaccinated and then i started screaming like you guys get my hood the same man like looks at me and he's just like afterwards they send you to this little like waiting room where you have to sit and wait for about like 10 to 20 minutes so the lady says to me like just go sit over there and i'm like oh, dude can i sit anywhere do i have to sit there in particular he's like she's like sit anyway so i'm like okay cool then i go sit in the corner of the room right but i didn't realize that sitting in the last 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 back 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 corner of the room i was sitting behind the man who i was trailing behind the entire time so when the lady facilitator comes around because we had about like Yo, they had gang, like 20 facilitators maybe, walking up and down the rows just to check that everyone is okay, making sure that everyone still feels normal, nobody is having any kind of like reaction to the vaccine. And so the lady comes to ask me like how I'm doing, but as soon as she asks me how I'm doing, literally the room turns and everyone like is waiting to see my reaction, like this girl's so dramatic, oh my god. But now I'm panicking because I'm like already laughing and you guys know like I'm a person who just laughs, like it can be the most serious situation ever and I'll start laughing. I'm like, <laughs> okay normal but now because the people around me like the immediate people around me are laughing and this man this white man again he's dying he's dying because he's like oh this girl what a what a tragedy what a tragedy this young lady so i'm now sitting there and i'm just like okay fine bob right just like just be normal express yourself because i genuinely was feeling something like i genuinely it felt like my nose was compressing <laughs> my chest was compressing everything like i could feel everything there were things going on in my body and this lady's like it's okay take your time describe to me what you're feeling so i'm trying to explain to her i'm like okay man so in my nose right and like people are just laughing and i'm really trying to explain to this lady but long story short um she told me to go home and steam she said it's fine when you get home just steam i'm like there's no way I came here for a vaccination and you're telling me to go steam you're mad i'm not gonna do that and i didn't steam and look at me now i still have a running nose <laughs> so i'm gonna enjoy my dunked wings okay if this is the last meal i have i put into a bone yes i think let's call it a night i i i, I will tell you that i am very confused but i think i am just confused because i barely ate the whole day so maybe let's let's try this again when i'm not confused hello everyone it's your girl bob breezy <laughs> so okay why is this lighting doing this i've literally been having problems with lighting this entire vlog so in terms of side effects on the saturday i did not vlog this because i genuinely was going through it but on the saturday i had the most intense muscle pain from the top of my neck all the way to my calf um i i really like i was in a lot of pain but i was also very drowsy and i saw on twitter that a lot of people like took naps after 
they got the vaccination which for me obviously wasn't the case because i stayed up all night eating dumplings and doing assignments so yeah that was a little bit of the tricky part is that i had to fight being drowsy the entire saturday because i had work to do and places to be and people to meet up until 4 p.m that kind of made it a little bit difficult for me to now like decide i'm gonna take a nap or sleep because i'm drowsy and sick and in pain <laughs> and then after encounter i was able to take the nap that i needed to take on saturday and then on sunday i was still just very drowsy and very lethargic and this kind of lasted up until monday ish but i firmly believe that it was because i did not nap after taking the vaccine because with rea and all of the other guys like their symptoms literally lasted up until the next day when they woke up and had taken a nap the same thing with Mabuthe. so the common trend that i'm seeing is that if you sleep after you vax then you're less likely to like have prolonged symptoms i'm not a doctor though okay i'm studying engineering so i should be the last person you're taking medical advice from but um yeah i'd say if you are going to get the jab um, just make sure that, you know, the day after that is a day that you can genuinely use for resting um, and, and pulling it together because, child, I, I missed out on, on so much work and assignments that I had planned to do. Even editing this vlog, it's late because I spend most of the weekend sick and so I had to spend most of the week catching up with school. And so as a result, the vlog is only coming out today, which is hopefully Thursday. <laughs> so... I'm also in the process of finding a new person to start editing the videos in my channel. So this will probably be one of very few videos that I will be editing myself going forward. Just because like I've realized like I've got so much content and I think we've been having this argument over Instagram for a while now. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, just follow me now because you are missing out. You are crying for YouTube content when I be serving content on the stories on a daily basis. So make sure that you go follow me on Instagram. But <laughs> I was just like, you know, like it's it's kind of difficult for me right now with everything that's going on in my personal life and school. On top of that, I just, I, I just, I just, I'm not able to handle it. So I'm definitely um, in the process of finding somebody to help me be able to put out content a lot more consistently just because i am able to make content and i have a lot of content i just don't have 20 to 30 hours to edit one video yes it takes me 20 to 30 hours to edit one video please let that sink in let that sink in please time yourself and ask yourself how long 20 to 30 hours is that means what time do i do school because technically if you think about it a person who works a nine to five job monday to friday works a 40 hour work week so if work is 40 hours in a week and i'm editing 20 to 30 hours just imagine as a full-time student somebody who's supposed to wash clean free fire the house and do all the chores in the household how much that is actually taking from my life on top of working part-time job as a tutor on top of um being a full-time ministry person uh purpose over everything girl like when when do i get time to be okay when do i get time to sort of chill and relax and i mean yes i have made a commitment to youtube but i think i genuinely want to just say thank you to everybody who hasn't sort of pressured me and understood the context of my life to the extent that it's kind of like Whenever you're able to put out content, we would appreciate it. Um, and we're always here to support you. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm getting super emotional. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm not going to cry on camera because that's not what I do. But I generally do appreciate the people who see me as a human being, the people who see me as a, as a me, a tangible person who also has struggles, who also has things and responsibilities and also needs to get a degree the same as what most of you are doing because that's what we came to school for not for vlogs <laughs> although school makes for very good content so thank you so much love you all so much i will see you in the next video oh i won't i probably won't see you in the next video because it'll be a man cave takeover so spoiler alert for you because you are a real one for making it this far <laughs> ciao the comment of the week goes to
guys. Uh, this 